Hey, what's up? It's Vince Leah from VinceLeah.com, and I'm hanging out with J Ro, Jason Robella, my house. Now, it's been a while since we did one of these videos, but today we're outside Trader Joe's trying to show you all the awesome vegan items they have in the store, but we're running into a problem. Corporate policy says we can't shoot here. Yeah, but we like to get tricky, right? So yeah. we've decided to bring Trader Joe's to the park. So what we've done is we've recreated the aisles from Trader Joe's here at the park to show you some of our favorite vegan plant-based healthy options. Now, you're not gonna see a ton of fruits and vegetables and staple items, because you already know those are at Trader Joe's. We wanted to focus on the more functified, interesting, cool stuff you may not know they have. So let's start with the dairy section. Now, there are some cheese options at Trader Joe's, some of which are vegan, some of which are not. And here's how to tell the difference. The vegan one, says the word vegan. These mozzarella shreds are good to go. They're melty, they're stretchy, they're gooey. I have used them and they are quite delicious. Here's the thing and the misleading part, potentially. They have almond mozzarella shreds, but dig this, 99% lactose free. And if you flip to the back, you say, oh, wait a second. There's pasteurized milk and casein in here. Almond cheese, my butt. Then we go to the soy cheese blend. You'll be thinking, lactose free, right? Good to go for the vegan crew. <sighs> Except for the fact that once again, casein, the dreaded milk protein, rears its ugly head once again. So, the cool thing is, these vegan mozzarella shreds, dope. What's doper? Miyoko's cultured butter. Miyoko is slaying the game. If you haven't had her butter yet, if you haven't had her cheese, you must put it in thy mouth as quickly as possible, because it is the closest thing to regular dairy cheese and regular dairy butter that I've ever had in my life. Pick this up, you will thank me later. I'm a huge smoothie fan. I have a superfood smoothie every single morning and Trader Joe's has some of the best selection and prices on frozen fruit. Check this. Two of my favorite frozen fruits to put in smoothies, wild blueberries, dark sweet cherries, amazing prices, super delicious, love these. And for more frozen options, when you're in a pinch and you don't have a lot of time, they have an organic superfood pilaf that is full of tricolor quinoa with sweet potatoes, kale, and carrots. It's super delicious. You just put it in a saucepan, put a little bit of oil or veggie broth in there, and you're good to go. Now we're gonna get a little old school. Full disclosure, I worked at the first Trader Joe's in Detroit in 2001, and they had Dr. Prager's veggie burgers even back then. Now, these are fully vegan, super clean ingredients, uh, hope they taste as good as they did back in the day. We're gonna find out. Here's the thing all the cool kids are talking about on Instagram, right? I sound like Jack Nicholson now because I'm talking about the cool kids. But if you dig cauliflower, they've got this great cauliflower and corn crust. You can pop in the oven, throw some artichoke hearts, some mushrooms, some tomatoes, some basil, whatever you fancy as far as toppings. And it's great, it's crispy and delicious. So if you're vegan or vegetarian or just a healthy person, you probably get the question, where do you get your protein? And I always say, hey, 1977 wants their question back because it's never been easier to get a healthy plant-based protein. If you're trying to get the guns for the gun show. So dig this. They got hemp protein powder. They've got vanilla, they've got chocolate. Now hemp is awesome because it's really easily digestible has up to 33% protein by weight, and is full of gamma linoleic acids, which are great for your heart health. Now, not to be outdone, they've also got the hookup on pea protein. Again, really digestible, awesome flavor. They've got chocolate and vanilla, and super clean ingredients, dig this. Three ingredients, pea protein, coconut palm sugar, organic vanilla, amazing. And where's that protein concentration? 20 grams of protein per serving. Loving this, yo. Oh, wee, oh, wee, oh. They got the hookup on O's too in the cereal section, y'all, with some really cool flavors. They've got pumpkin O's, which I've had, which are kind of on the addicting side. You need to be careful. And these mango -wo -wo woes, which I haven't had yet, but they look spectacular. Now, if we're back on the smoothie train, I love topping my smoothies with crunchy things because it's the contrast of the creamy smoothie and the crunchy bits. And in terms of crunchy bits, this coconut granola is really good. I've sprinkled it on smoothies before, on acai bowls. I'll put it on top of ice cream. Really crunchy, really delicious. Now, speaking of the smoothie game, if you wanna up your smoothie game, they have organic cacao powder, y'all. 
and organic frickin' maca powder. If you need a libido boost, an energy boost, if you're trying to make babies, if you're trying to like get your hormones under control or just make a smoothie taste real good, they got you. One of my favorite vegan protein sources of all time, tempeh. They have this really awesome three grain tempeh. You can steam it, you can saute it, you can bake it, you can crumble it. I use it in all kinds of Asian recipes. I use it as a meat substitute in my pasta sauces. I love you, tempeh. Like seriously, if you were just a little bit bigger and, and, and shaped like a human, I might marry you. One of my favorite things to use in Asian cooking is coconut aminos. I don't eat a ton of soy. When I do eat soy, it's always fermented, organic, and non-GMO. But I like this because it has the same flavor as soy sauce, the same really nice umami salty flavor profile, but it has just a really great flavor. This is totally dope. They have these like really cool stir and pastes, and this is ginger. It's basically just crushed ginger, sunflower oil, olive oil, lemon juice concentrate, salt. Super simple, really easy to cook with. So dig this, in terms of prepared foods in their deli section, they've got the vegan hook up there too, dig this. They've got two really cool wraps. They've got a veggie wrap with hummus, super awesome, really clean ingredients, super easy, and spicy lentil wrap with spicy tahini sauce. So if you gotta do a grab and go thing in the middle of your day, or at the end of the day, or the beginning of the day, any time of day, they got these wraps for y'all. Now if you thought that was a wrap, <laughs> it's not. The prepared food section has more dope stuff for you. Check this out. Curried cauliflower quinoa salad. <laughs> Apple cranberry quinoa salad, if you're feeling in the holiday mood and a curried cauliflower salad. You can see there's a theme here. Lots of quinoa, lots of curry, lots of cauliflower. Not complaining about any of those choices, I might add. Now if we're talking about sweeteners, we've got different forms of stevia. Now here's the weird thing though. This large size of stevia has lactose in it. Who's to say why? I don't know, but if the big size is not vegan. The little size is vegan and it's organic, so you're cooked up there. And they have a liquid stevia as well. So if you're going to do a zero glycemic sweetener, they got you hooked up, just make sure you're getting the small sizes. Dig. You like the coconut? Well, that's good, because they have many coconut things for you, including unsweetened flake coconut and coconut chips. So good. And they've got extra virgin organic coconut oil for you to put in your body or on your body I personally have one in my kitchen and by my bedside. Not all sugar is created equal. If you're gonna use sugar, I highly advise you use something like turbinado raw cane sugar because it has a lot of the minerals still intact as opposed to white sugar that has all the nutrition, all the minerals stripped from it. So if you're gonna use sugar booger, do some of this. Dried fruit, they got the hookup. Turkish apricots or apricots. If you're British, they're called apricots. Quite delicious, quite moist, quite fruity. Continuing on the dried fruit train, organic Turkish dried figs, and some unsweetened and unsulfured mango, the Chokanan varietal. <laughs> Fancy of you, trader. This is super dope. Speaking of shaking this on smoothie bowls and in breakfast cereals and on pilafs and all kinds of things, you can shake this on whatever you want. You can shake it all night long if you want. This is super seed and ancient grain blend with buckwheat, millet, chia, flax, quinoa, hemp, amaranth. Ugh, kiss yourself. I got a thing for bagels, specifically everything bagels, and they have an everything but the bagel spice shake. It's a seasoning blend that I'll put on a lot of things other than bagels. I'll put this on top of avo toast. I'll put this on top of my quinoa bowl. I'll put this on top of, uh, not my smoothie. You don't wanna put this on top of your smoothie unless you're a freak. And that's okay, you can be totally freaky, we love you. But I mean, flavor-wise, it's not gonna be good. Staple in every vegan kitchen. And every kitchen that's not vegan, nooch, nooch, nutritional yeast. Great source of B12, adds a cheesy flavor to everything. Safe word, cacao. They got 72% dark chocolate, which I'm a big fan of because little did you know, maybe you did know. But if you didn't know, I'm gonna tell you that milk actually, the enzymes in milk actually counteract a lot of the health benefits of cacao, including its high magnesium content. So if you're gonna do chocolate, my friends, always go dark. We got them nut butters to make your ass flutter. Oh yeah, hooking it up, my favorite, sunflower butter, second favorite, almond butter, and a new kid on the block is a mixed nut butter with almonds and cashews and Brazil nuts and walnuts and hazelnuts and pecans. I like how this is going to turn out. It's fresh, fresh. 
exciting. I know I didn't say I was gonna show a lot of fresh stuff, but I did get some freshy fresh stuff, including arugula. Gotta get your spicy greens, spicy dark greens. Really good for liver health, really high in antioxidants. So we got some arugula. Speaking of antioxidants, the green with the highest source of antioxidants is actually watercress. They have organic living watercress there. How dope is that? Baby broccoli, baby broccoli. Oh, you never start cursing, but you come and never see me. Baby broccoli. You know what? I I I don't I don't I don't mess with old broccoli. I only hang with baby broccoli. So if you down with that, like young vegetables, they got the hook up there. Recently, we had a uh, avocado shortage here in California where avocados were going for $4.99 each. Thankfully, that's over. Now you can get a sack of avocados at Trader Joe's for the same price. Thank you very much. Sometimes I'm lazy. Actually, I'm lazy all the time in the kitchen. And when that happens, I like to get things like these roasted baby golden beet wedges, which are super cute. And Oh man, I, you know what? I didn't have lunch before we shot this video. It's starting to get, it's starting to get hard, Vince. Thanks. He said, oh, you just put J-Row to work without feeding him. Just gonna talk about all his food and he's starving. Vince is a slave driver. Don't let anybody tell you different. He's a mean man. Butternut. Butternut. Butternut squash. You are one of my favorites. And again, lazy. Sometimes I don't feel like peeling and dicing a butternut squash. So they have organic butternut squash diced in a bag. Thank you. They also have cucumbers. And for the lazy chefs out there, jicama sticks. Because again, sometimes I don't feel like peeling and cutting a jicama. I just want to rip it open and eat it. The pasta game is strong at Trader Joe's. They've got this really awesome high protein black bean pasta. Super yummy red lentil pasta. And quinoa and brown rice spaghetti. Yay, yay. Oh, and of course, you gotta have your pasta sauce. So they've got organic tomato basil marinara. Did I mention they're really big on quinoa there? Well, they are because they even have a sprouted tricolor blend. Now, here's the thing. When you sprout things, it actually makes it more digestively assimilable and unlocks more of the enzymes and nutritional content. Again, butternut squash. They got diced butternut squash. They got canned butternut squash. They got whatever kind of butternut squash you want. They even got fresh butternut squash. They got mashed butternut squash. They got fricasseed butternut squash. They don't have fricasseed butternut squash. I remember Bugs Bunny used to say that. He'd like, ah, go with fricassee. Like, I've never, I don't even know what that is. And I went to culinary school. Probably the hottest thing right now in terms of meat substitutes is jackfruit. Jackfruit is awesome in tacos, in stir fries, in any kind of Tex-Mex dishes. I use it in Asian cooking. I've used it in Italian cooking. You can make it taste like chicken or pulled pork. So this is like the greatest thing Trader Joe's has come out with in the past year, legit. I'm gonna go on record and say that I respect you, Trader Joe's. I respect you not only for your variety and your selection, but the fact that you chose to call these garbanzo beans instead of chickpeas. Why? Because garbanzo is way more fun to say than chickpea, right? Garbanzo, chickpea, garbanzo. I like it better. Uh, I like hanging out with a lot of my friends, uh, one in particular who will go nameless because I don't want to out her here on YouTube. Uh, she has a lot of gas when she eats split pea soup. I don't. So <laughs> I get all the split pea when we're hanging out, which is a nice thing because this split pea is really, really good and it doesn't make me fart. <laughs> Okay, so dig this. Remember I talked about the frozen cauliflower crust? I got some toppings for yous. Fire roasted red and yellow peppers. Oh yeah, we're gonna sling that on our pizza later, for show. Grilled artichoke halves? Yes, ma'am. Hearts of palm, slice these up, put them on your za, and then it's boom ba. And Grecian style eggplant with tomatoes and onions? That's like, that's your whole pizza. You don't need any more toppings. You're set. Now we are in the beverage section. We're starting with two staples of any household. You gotta have your coconut milk and your coconut cream because you can make sauces and soups and desserts and puddings and custards and ice cream. These are two of the most versatile things. If you don't have these in your kitchen, get them. Best post-workout beverage ever, boom, coconut water. Phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, electrolytes, so good. And it actually tastes really gosh darn good because it's not from concentrate. Thank you, Trader Joe's. Appreciate that. Plus, they've got these really cool herbal flavored waters, a lemon ginger, lemongrass spearmint. They're both organic too. 
Now I'm super excited to try this brand, Spindrift Sparkling Water. This is blackberry flavored and dig this. Sparkling water, blackberry juice, lemon juice, blackberry puree. Four ingredients, you guys. When's the last time you saw a sparkling beverage with four ingredients like that? Super clean. And I'm probably gonna mix it with something like, I don't know, maybe a fine liqueur of some kind. More coconut water. I swear to God, like half the store is coconut. Seriously is. This is a single origin coconut water. Again, love this post-workout. I actually have coconut water uh, in the middle of the night if I wake up and have like a middle of the night mouth. I've had insomnia lately. Maybe that's TMI, but anyway. Coconut water after the workout, coconut water in the middle of the night, coconut water filling your bathtub. Just coconut water needs to take over the world. This is pretty dope. It's a carrot turmeric juice blend which is nice because then you have the vitamin A of the carrot for your eyesight. You've got the anti-inflammatory capabilities of the turmeric. So basically you'll just be able to see really good and never be inflamed ever again. Everybody's all about the, the pumpkin spice. Everything's pumpkin spice. Put pumpkin spice on this. Pumpkin spice pizza, pumpkin spice udon noodles, pumpkin spice casserole, pumpkin spice ice cream. Well, they have a pumpkin spice almond beverage. They can't call it milk, so they call it an almond beverage. But it's really looking good, super clean ingredients, and uh, I feel like it's gonna be tasty, it's gonna be delicious. Pineapple juice, super cool for many reasons. It's in these cool little cans, and pineapple juice has an enzyme in it called bromelain, which if you are having any kind of respiratory inflammation, respiratory issues, bromelain helps to decrease that. So if you're in the winter time or any time of year and you're having some respiratory stuff, just slam some pineapple juice. Gerald Steiner. Sparkling water, my favorite. It's highly mineralized, has a great flavor. It has a nice lubricity and mouthfeel. And I actually like to mix this with a product called Shrub, which is like a distilled vinegar, like a drinking vinegar. A little bit of drinking vinegar, a little bit of sparkling water, and you got yourself a party. I read recently uh, some things that people like to dip things in other things. And if you like to dip foods into other foods, then we got things like a tomatillo roasted yellow chili salsa, and we got a organic hummus for you. And if you like to dip things, you might want to dip things in these things. Yeah. And finally, we've hit my favorite aisle in the store, the snack food aisle. Here we go. You want chips? You could get any old boring tortilla chip, or you could get these veggie flaxseed tortilla chips with tomato and carrot, spinach and garlic, red beet and onion. Fancy. Coming on board the tortilla train, we've got these blue corn tortilla chips with sprouted amaranth, quinoa, and chia seeds. They've got superfoods infused, infused? Yes, the word is infused. It's people say infused, I say infused. Infused into these chips, so when you are dipping the things into the other things that I showed you that are dippable, you can feel good about your healthy choices. Now, if you're from the South, like I'm not, but I like Southern food, then okra is a staple. This is crispy, crunchy okra. Crispy, crunchy, the okra. That would probably taste real good if you dipped it into that hummus. Spud crunchies, doo 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 ah. Spud crunchies, doo 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 ah. They're potato snacks and they won't make you yak. If you're in your car and you're getting carjacked, they won't prevent it. But they taste really good. Oh, what are we going to do with all of these parsnips? I don't know. Any ideas? I got an idea. Oh. Oh, that was a good idea. Mm. Mmm, winning. Oh, you thought the kale chip trend was dead? <laughs> well, guess what? It's not. They've got zesty nacho kale chips and they PDG. If you don't know what that means, that means pretty darn good. I had these at a party uh, earlier this year and I'm a big mochi fan, but most mochi is not vegan. But these mochi rice nuggets, they have a band and the song would probably be like, put these in your mouth and we'll take you down south. Everybody knows that you're gonna what else rhymes with south of mouth? Blouth, blouth, blouth is a thing when you can't say the word blouse. You say blouth instead. That makes no sense at all, but these are really good and you should eat them. Roasted plantain chips. I love me some plantains. Why do I love me some plantains? Because I'm Boricua, man. I'm half Puerto Rican and I grew up eating platanas maduras. We had grilled plantains on like all of our food. Plantain chips are near and dear to my heart. 
Like they're they're just they're tucked away and they're like half of my heart runs on on liquid plantain. So I'm happy to see they have these. Truly I am. Oh, I can't drink coffee anymore. It makes me feel too jittery. My adrenals. Oh no, my adrenal. I get it. I get it. You're sensitive adrenals. I understand. So if you're not doing coffee, do matcha green tea instead. I love it. Here's why. It has a more sustainable form of caffeine and has an amino acid called L-theanine, which helps with mental alertness and clarity. So if you're sitting down to write a term paper or maybe a dissertation on Shakespearean theology or perhaps the decline of the Babylonian Empire, this is something I'd recommend you drink beforehand, okay? You're welcome. All right, so we pretty much cleaned out Trader Joe's. Most of the vegan items that we could find brought them here to the park to share them with you. I think we did a pretty good job at yeah, that. Oh, we man. did a great job. We gave them a straight up vegan colonic. We were just like, <laughs> <laughs> we took all the vegan stuff, all the good vegan stuff, and uh, and it just goes to show you that the options are plentiful these days, no matter yep. where you go. Legit, you can go anywhere now if you know what to look for, and companies are responding. The more that we purchase vegan foods, promote yep. vegan foods, the more options we see. So keep doing it, keep voting with your dollar, and we're gonna see more amazing food popping up on shelves all over the place, including TJ's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Jay. Well, thanks for joining me today, Dude, man. Always, brother. Appreciate always it. Always good to be with you. Definitely. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you check out Jay Rose's YouTube channel and all his social media. Links for all that is in the description box below. Subscribe to the channel as I post new videos every week. And leave me a comment. Let me know where you want us to go next. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Peace.